I'm back with more Mindcast. Today we're not going to do anything special or any of the other mod packs or anything. Well, it is something special, not just the ordinary mod packs. If you can understand. Anyways, you're gonna do. I'm gonna do a new thing where I just every once in a while just take a little trip to monumental places for the Mindcast. So this is one. Get a huge monument. Built it a long time ago, back with old, back with mind, the original Mindcast. So you guys don't know this because this is the third version of the Mindcast. For some reason, it's called the Danny Men because we're not animals, we're Danny Men. Anyways, I love animals. Anyways, so it Mindcast, Mindcast PB, you know, lead. So now we're here, and this was back with original Mindcast. First Mindcast. Actually, I think it might have even been back to Machini Crafts, just me, like, being a special guest on there. Uh, never sh like, this is just this old world I made a long time ago. Didn't take me very long to build. But just loading this up, this is the smallest tower I've ever made, I'd have to say. It's not very big, not very impressive. But yeah, it's a tower nonetheless. And I made this rune over here for science people. And then here is my house. And I've got a secret room back here. Ah, uh, leg, stab leg, stab leg, stab leg. Stab leg, stab leg. Back here. Come on. Just chests and stuff. You can access those from down under as well. Oh yeah, and over here. What's up, my ring? Yes, I do. Got a lot of stuff in my inventory. It's been so long since I've played this. That noise gets annoying. There's a shooting range. Oh, I forgot I made that guy like that. Anyways, yeah. My light blue one is where I actually gotta like just empty out my inventory now. Just got too much stuff. This is all from. A project that I'll show you the real reason why I'm doing this to show you like I made this a long time ago it contains one of my inventions that I made that I invented and I'm claiming it with this video oh wrong button anyways that's just this thing um I might do a tech it series once I'm done with all the other series is yeah this is one of those you know like those roman sacrifice chamber things except it's a hot tub instead of an oper operating place it's pretty cool so this monstrosity right here is what i did this to show you so this contains many 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 of my proud invention that I can show you with a simple demonstration right here, right now. Goodness, this music is getting loud. I believe it works this way. Like, what happens is. So it got really difficult to make because redstone can, red wire can go into redstone, but but redstone cannot go into red wire. And you can't have a button on one side of a block and have the red wire at the other side and expect it to work. Do I have a button? No, I think it's the same thing with others as well. See? But you can with redstone. 
So, what I had to do is make it so it go. I made this, I invented this like a year ago. Whoa, Matt Moss. Matt Moss. Matt, no, that's not a seven. Come on, Matt Moss. Turn off. There. Goodness sakes. So then you have this, then here, then... Oh, I need a redstone torch. Um, I believe I have some. Um. Um. Ugh. One's good enough. No, not one isn't good enough actually. Okay. And this. And then how did I set it up again? I have to look at this. Redstone. No, other way around. Like this. So I invented this two year like a year ago. The transformer of redstone into red power. Because with this simple setup, you can do this. Power like that. So yeah, this monstrosity could be considered a computer, I guess. Speaking this way, I've just gotta see if I can remember the code to get in. The code to get in. Oh, it's lagging so much. Ah, uh, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Oh yeah, this is my zombie apocalypse survival area. Is it unpeaceful? Why is it unpeaceful? I'm indestructible. I can. Hey, zombies! Where's my arrows? Where are they going? Oh, yeah, I don't have any arrows, actually. Alright. Um. Oh, no! Um, is it. This one's close. Yeah, because. Good. I believe this one should say open one. And open two. It's very, very complicated. I haven't been on here for so long, it's hard to remember everything. Yet. So, yeah. Two. Got caps lock on. One. Well, eventually, maybe. I was planning on doing this where I just press one button and it'll activate both on like every thing. So you have to press them both in order. You have to guess the right ones out there. There's 30 buttons. You have to guess the right ones and press them in order. And if you don't press them in order, it doesn't work and you have to reset it. So. Come on. Did I get it right? Oh yeah, like a boss. So how it works is, I'll press the reset button, how it works is I've got this set up right here where this will drop down this, and this right here, as soon as it gets powered it'll become an infinite loop, it'll have a bunch of power, and I'll push it over there. So it latches like onto those blocks over there, and then you're like, you can't go over there then because no, it pushes them over. I believe it's been a long time, so I believe it just pushes them over. But then the pistons are in the way, 
So then once you get the other one, this piston activates and put and breaks that off. Very, very complicated. It took a long time. But yeah, well it didn't take that much, like a day. But this is the noisy pistons glitch. Oh man, I love this, watch. <laughs> Do you mind? Do not think me as some conjurer of cheap tricks. Whoa, are they battling? Showdown! <laughs> no. Oh, it won. Ow! Boom. I want one of these in real life. I could be like, boom! That'd be awesome. So anyways, this is half that and half imp invisible pistons glitch. Which it stops with a leg to be able to show you. I'm thinking about using this as maybe a warning system so I could have this way over there. And what's more uh, noticeable than a noisy piston shaking up the floor? Here we go, right here turns the pistons invisible. They're there. They're just invisible. Invisible pistons glitch! I discovered it. I discovered a lot of glitches, actually. I discovered this one where the repeaters turn into the texture of bedrock. It's really weird. I think I actually might have enough repeaters to see if it works in this version. Alright, so I believe it's like repeater... remember how to do it but I just oh I found the best glitch ever and I, I beat like I am the boss of glitches now anyways I loaded up a super flat world and it I spawned in a cave so I was like this isn't right and I was on this so there's one chunk a solid chunk that was like way higher than all the rest and it was a default world and it had a village built into the side of this sheer cliff face on it. I believe this seed was mamatime.com. My turn. Arrow roulette. I win! Yay! So yeah, this has been a field trip. I could just show you inside. I could just show you inside the mine tower. This has been a Minecast field trip. It's almost. A Why do I need food? I haven't needed food in a long time. It's just a sunken ship and a tiki head. So anyways, this is the mind tower. I'll just step inside. Huh. What was that noise? Open. What is it making? Oh. Um... You didn't see that. So anyways, I've got a ladder, in case anyone visits that's not a mage. But then, I don't even know why, but then there's a mage only level. And magic stuff. And then here's my level, which is just a huge flat screen. Up at the top, we have this. 